When we talk about the menstrual cycle, we often solely focus on the period, the days of bleeding that mark the start of a new cycle. But did you know that your menstrual cycle is much more than just your period? What actually happens between one period and another is a wicked exciting roller coaster that involves the ovaries, the uterus, the pheromones and the brain. One much talked about theory is, does your period really sync with your close friends? And the other one is, does women's brain change across their menstrual cycle? Let's dive in and find out in this episode of Explained. Do you and your best friend or your colleague get periods together? And does your menstrual cycle sync the same way every month? It's a phenomenon that's been talked about for decades. But is there any truth to it? Also, why? Period synchronization is also known as menstrual synchrony or the McClintock effect. It is predicted on the theory that when you have a physical touch with another person who menstruates, your pheromones affect one another, causing your monthly cycles to align. Before moving ahead, let's first find out what the McClintock effect is. A researcher named Martha McClintock conducted a study of 135 college women living in a dorm together to see if their menstrual cycle aligned. The study concluded that women living together or who work closely together synchronize their periods. But the scientists challenged her to address the issue scientifically. In a phenomena also called the dormitory effect, menstrual cycles change for women living together in dormitories, prisons, convents and other communities. This has been purported to impact the start date and the length of menses. The same phenomena called the Witten effect has been noted in mice and guinea pigs. However, the Witten effect is caused by male pheromones, whereas the McClintock effect only involves female pheromones. A large study conducted by Oxford University and the period tracking app company Clue was the biggest blow yet to the theory of period sinking. Data of over 1500 people demonstrated that it's unlikely that women can disrupt each other's menstrual cycles by being in close proximity to one another. Although nearly 50 years of intensive investigation have passed since McClintock first published results on menstrual synchrony, there is still no conclusive evidence for the existence of this phenomena. And this showed the idea of menstrual synchrony was a myth, despite the many women who still believe in it. The pheromones that we just talked about are chemicals that signal to other animals of the same species, but their existence in humans is still a question. After calling the period sinking study weak, to date scientists haven't been able to definitely identify any human pheromones. So, the next time you and your friends find yourself syncing up, Remember that you're not alone in experiencing this curious aspect of womanhood. Let's now find out if the brain-changing theory is true. Scientists have found that the structure of the female brain changes throughout the menstrual cycle. It turns out that the hormonal fluctuations that occur throughout the menstrual cycle can have a profound impact on our brain. During the menstrual cycle, level of estrogen and progesterone rise and fall and the studies show that the volume or thickness of certain brain regions expand too. So, how does it really impact us and what do we do when we are menstruating and our brains are changing? When people have a different pattern in their brains over the course of the month, it leads to different strategies of how to solve a particular problem. All this can affect things like attention, memory and decision making. But regardless of why it exists, the monthly transformation of women's brain could still be an advantage. The reason lies in another major difference between male and female brains. The latter tend to be less lateralized rather than using just one side of the brain to complete a task like solve a math problem, women are more likely to use both. So, the two hemispheres of a woman's brain talk to each other more than a man's do. To support brain health during menstruation, do prioritize self-care and adopt healthy lifestyle habits. The next time someone asks if you are hormonal, you can say yes, but it isn't necessarily be a bad thing. We'll meet you next time with another exciting and lesser known studies.